Hello, this is John from MyBrainOnGames.com, and I'm here with... Jeff from JustOneMoreLevel.com. And we are here to play Tempo on the Sega 32X. What should be my final video of Tempo? Tempo. 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 Oh, well, off to a great start. Off to a great start. So, is there sound? Yeah, I hear sound. Do you not hear sound? No, I don't hear sound. Oh, that's not good. So, that's uh, maybe... Oh, wait. Your tempo now? Maybe I should uh, put the other earphone in. Maybe that will maybe that'll solve something. I, I, do you hear anything? No, but there's no noise being generated. Now there should be noise being generated. Just slowly generated. Because that's going to be a G. That's going to be a rest. That's a GG. This is the password system, Jeff. Okay. Looks almost like you're spelling it Jeff. Just uh, with three three j's and oh yeah sure enough jedge i'm spelling jedge 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 a b and then a rest and i believe that's it tell me if you hear this yeah you can hear that okay well that is the password tempo uses a password system that takes musical notes uh, because this is a game all about music Game. All right. So you're the the dude in the green. I'm the dude in the green. I think he is a grasshopper. He's a cricket or something. His name is Tempo. He's the Eponis, Eponis Tempo. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. And this is the final performance stage. I have played this for like 50 minutes. This stage in particular, trying to get through it. Got to the boss, and he is a pain in the butt, but I think I figured out a foolproof strategy to beat him. Still going to be tough to beat him, but I can do it. Let the cat into the studio. Just because he was pawing at the door. Yeah, and of course, uh, probably going to want to get out now. Of he course he would. Wants to get in, and then he wants to get out. Oh, never mind, just wants to make sure that the door doesn't close. Okay, so we're just going to keep the door like that. Okay. So, Temple seems to be doing pretty good right now. Tempo? No, uh, you said Temple to begin with. Uh, I'm just going to roll with we're this. We're going to stick the... with Temple. Yep. Okay, yeah, so this is a platformer. Uh, it was developed by Red Entertainment. It's published by Sega, one of the... Is, is he, was he twerking? He was dancing. It may have been a twerk thrown in there for good measure. I'm not sure. Um, now yeah. he's got now he's got his uh, cricket, his grasshopper pal Katie. So girlfriend, girlfriend, grasshopper pal. Uh, so grasshopper pal. Okay. If there's anyone that'll be doing twerking, it'd probably be her. I don't know. He seems to be a little fruity. Yeah, he is green. All right. So would you say that this is the title to buy a 32x for? I don't think there is a title to buy the 32X for. 32X is really only for people who are real passionate about vintage games, or if you had nostalgia for the 32X in particular. Or the DS. The DS. Nostalgia for the, for the oh, DS. Oh, nostalgia for the DS. Also co-developed by Red Entertainment. But um bum Speaking of which, sat this game, Tempo, um, you know it was on the Sega 32X, so it didn't sell worth a damn. Um, it did receive a sequel on the Game Gear, Treble, Tempo Junior, which oh. did get localized in North American or in English speaking markets. It also received a sequel on the Saturn, oh. Japan only, <laughs> no. but it's very expensive, and I only saw two copies on eBay, so I have held off. Well, much, much to your dismay, I will. It is a game I'm sorry. I, I would like to get because you know this is a platformer. The language barrier is probably going to be minuscule, probably non-existent, and this game really is one of the better audiovisual experiences, probably from this era, or at least you know on the 32x at the very least. So I imagine the Saturn version looks pretty good and sounds pretty good too. I'm interested to check it out. Yeah, I mean the Saturn was very powerful hardware. Oh, uh, read that book. <laughs> <laughs> And the only reason I would get that game on the Saturn is because you have a Saturn with the... Oh, this sucks. Oh, this sucks. I'm just going to die. It looks like you drowned. I did. 
know what they say about cats, Jeeves? Curiosity killed them. Like shoving your head in a plastic bag. Yeah. That's a good way to suffocate yourself, Jeeves. Okay, well that really sucks. He... This grasshopper cannot, for the life of him, swim in the water or anything like that. So I lost my power up. I lost Katie and I lost that life trying to recover that power up, which it's all for naught anyways. Uh, this boss is going to be difficult. Um, like I said, previous video I spent like 50 minutes on this stage, probably 30 of which were just on this boss. I've learned the patterns, learned the way to beat him. Now it's just a matter of implementing it, implementing it perfectly. So how many videos have you put together for this? This is this is the seventh episode. This is my eighth session. I say this is my eighth session because I went ahead and just deleted one video. I just didn't even bother saving it. It, it devolved into just a expletive-laden rant against this game's fifth stage. Just fuck, <clears throat> fuck that boss. Fuck that boss. Kind of really makes me want to see the uh, the behind the scenes bloopers of the development of that of that video. Uh, it was like a 50 minute audio track of me like pretty much cursing fuck at the end of it for the last 20 minutes. And I was just like fuck, fuck this. I'm not even saying it. I need this guy to come over here. The power's gonna drop right on him. No, no, come on. Damn it. This is off to an awful start. So look at my health bar is on the right or on the left. His is on the right. That's a big discrepancy. Yeah. I can do this though. I'm, I'm not gonna do it on this attempt. So you don't physically attack him, you dance off against him? I, I jump into him <clears> and <throat> these power-ups. I can get this seat. Now I'm gonna go into a dance off. I'm gonna shake, I'm gonna grab my four hands, I'm gonna I'm gonna twerk. I'm gonna do all sorts of stuff, and I'm gonna summon Katie. Now I need to come over here. Come on over here. Alright, the next power-up is going to drop from this side. And I'm just going to force him to turtle and stay in that position as long as possible so I can get this. We have another dance-off. He takes some damage. And it's all good in the grasshopper hood. Did you really just say that? Maybe. I want him to come over here because the power-up is going to drop right on his head. Oh. As he flattened you like a pancake. As he flattened me like a pancake. Really need to get a PSP. You do. I've been playing the PS I've been playing Star Ocean, the second evolution. See, first evolution. No, second departure. First evolution, second departure. I've no. Been... Oh yes, first departure, second <laughs> evolution. Yes. You said it backwards, which threw me off. I said it backwards first, and I was like, I always get those two confused. The PSP remakes. Which was the first time uh, Star Ocean 1 came out over here. Also, one of the stores in Galveston we went to had a copy of the original Star Ocean on the Super Famicom. I'm sure that was expensive. It was just like 20 bucks. Really? Yeah. Like the Japanese Famicom version or... Super Famicom. Super Famicom version or like the actual Super Nintendo? Super Famicom. It never came out in America. Oh, true. Yes. And it had the box <laughs> and manual and everything. Oh, that was bull crap right there. I got that power up and then took damage. So I'm probably not going to beat him on this take either, but we'll see how far I can get. I'm just going to force him to turtle while I wait for this this attack power up to spawn. Grab that. Alright, the cameras are rolling. Twerk it. Twerk it. Okay, now I'm going to try and force him to... So is there, is there anything with that metronome up in the center? I think it's just for aesthetic purposes. Um, it's cool. It's cool that it actually keeps going while the game plays. You know, it's, it's taking up extra resource on the 32X. I guess Red Entertainment just said, hey, we finished this game. Uh, our programmers are kind of bored. They, they need some more stuff to do. Okay, let's have them render a metronome. Okay, come on, come over. Okay, good, good, good. So he likes oh. to... <clears throat> Oh, dancing in in flight. Yep. He got that power up. So in order to do damage to him, you have to even have those power-ups. Um, this little, uh, I'm throwing musical notes. Normally, this will stun enemies, at which point Katie, my sidekick, will attack them. But this final boss, he is just, he is a turtle. His defenses are off the chain, and as we know, 
as all Madden NFL 2005 players know. Defense wins championships. Defense also wins 90s era platformers. This guy's got it in spades. I need him to fly over. Because the power up's gonna spawn on the left hand side. Or the middle. Uh, flew into the sky and still landed right into the wall. Alright, so he's gonna fall to below 50%, or at 50%. At 50%. Now, where's this, this? Hopefully, this next one's gonna spawn on this left hand side. There's no guarantees. It's gonna force him to turtle. So, if, if Katie is as strong as. As you say, she is. She's the one that does most of the actual fighting for you. Why isn't she actually fighting right now? Words cannot express my disappointment with Katie. Alright, so looking at about 40% oh. health left as you die. The second form is the second form I can deal with. In that last video, I learned how to deal with the second form. He's got a third form I don't know how to deal with yet. Because like most of these games from the 90s, you don't get to spend a whole lot of time with that last form of something. Because you, you start getting down the first form pretty well because you're going to face that first form quite a few times. Mm -hmm. Second form, you're going to start kind of picking, piecing together after the whole, you know, I finally figured out the first form. The whole trial and error and slowly piecing everything together. And then once you finally do actually finish off the, the most likely the third or final form of, of something you don't want to play the game again so you don't really ever you know develop a, a strategy on final like beating that final form well that must be the difference between you and I because I want to beat this game I've stuck with it long enough to see portions of his third form well I mean you, you play enough to to beat the final form, but then you never go back, so you, like, you still, like, you could probably go back and beat the first form easy in about, like, a year or so. Uh -oh. so you could probably remember some of it. Second form, you're probably gonna die a couple more times, but the third form, you're gonna be like, ah, how the fuck did I do this the first time? Ooh, 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 son of a gun. So it looks like it's music and insect based. Uh, I look like a yeah. centipede right there. That's right. I never really put, you know, I always got the music part. I never really put two and two together that everything's insect based. That is right. Because I, you know, I don't have the manual. I just have this game loose. But I looked up the scan of the manual online to try and get the backstory because it's crucial, especially for platformers. You know, I gotta know what the players, what the player character's motivation is. And the care player character's motivation in this game is to win the dance off, win that trophy. But yes, he is a grasshopper. That would make sense why everyone else is creepy. Why why everyone else is insects. I ne that never dawned on me until just now. No, well, you're welcome. This is why I keep you around. Yeah. Help me help me understand 2D platformers on a philosophical level, on a game design level. Noted oh, game designer yeah. Jeff. I, I... <laughs> Noted game designer Jeff. Okay, I, I like that. That's Noted like... game designer Jeff Tridracius Brown. Exactly. Oh, wow. Perfect. I've developed quite a few concepts in my time. So check this out. This third floor, I spent like 10 minutes trying to figure out the pattern. I go to the leftmost door. I go to the center door. I hold left on the D-pad because these guys are fast to spawn. I go to the leftmost door. Ripping out my headphone cable is not part of the exercise. Yeah, I was, gonna, I was about to say that's a very interesting part of that whole, that whole plan. But also to kind of, it looked like those four fast things were hearts. Yep, they look like hearts. With actual like blood vessels and stuff that were flying around. Completely disproving your insect enemy theory. Well, not completely disproving it. That was the only enemy that I've seen so far that is not insect-based. And insects have hearts. I would think. What are these things, then? Eh, too late. Turnips? Ah. <laughs> ah, oh my gosh, that that's not good. Maybe they're some form of beetle or something. That is actually quite likely. I 
crow, of course frogs eat insects, so I don't really know why the frogs aren't assisting you with killing all these other insects, because, unless they're just not hungry. Yeah. Could be. Because they're not eating me, they're allowing me to jump on their nose. There's probably, there's probably credence to that theory. Of course there's snowflakes, which is probably why you don't really see any insects right here. Because it's getting cold. Oh yeah. Those are snowflakes, yeah, because if we look in the background up here, you know, there's a Christmas tree in the background. And it's dancing, it looks like. Dancing. I mean, it, is a music, it is a music-oriented game. Alright, see, Katie's gonna get a swing in. Oh, she's gonna get two hits in. This is starting off good. Oh my goodness. Maybe I can just get him in this chain. Holy crap. Oh my, holy shit. Wow. Holy fucking shit. You you just did 60%. This boss is gonna get got. Oh my goodness. Okay, now third stage. I don't know how to combat this. Oh. No, he just runs over and just starts pummeling you. Yeah. Okay, now he's back to turtling. I don't know where this power-up's gonna spawn from. This is crucial. He can kill me with this power-up, I'm sure. He's probably gonna fall right on him if, uh, if I know the difficulty of the 90s games. Or it might just not fall. That would not be good. I'd prefer it to fall and just get it over with one way or the other than draw this out. Come on, fly over me. Nope. So difficult. So difficult that you had him beat until, I mean, you were like 5% away. Well, at least now, see, now there's another feather to my strategy. If I can come into this match with Katie, at the very least, this low level, you know, low level, just level one attack, I can throw that, and if I can time it right, I can just get him in his respawn motion, or in his, uh, invincibility mode, where I can still attack him. It, it or she attacks him. It almost looks like he's got a binky. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a couple attacks in him on myself. Okay. Just force him to turtle. Wait for this power up to spawn him. Now we're gonna get KD as well as do a look at damage. Next power up's gonna spawn, it's gonna come from the center of the screen. I'd like him to fly over me if possible. Okay. Rinse, repeat. Whoa, Katie, don't put me next to him. Okay. This is how I can do it. Gotta be aggressive. Oh. Okay, he's not gonna get that. I didn't get it, but he didn't either, so that's fine. He's too preoccupied with going crazy driving. Yeah. Oh, the jump button wasn't working. It wasn't. Oh, that wasn't working. I just pressed it bad. Okay, how can I deal with this? There's a jump on I got so lucky. I got so lucky. Oh my goodness. And now you're never going to touch the game again, and you won't remember that you got so lucky, and then you still won't know how to actually beat them, and then when you do decide to play this game in 17 years, you won't know how you beat them. Yes, I will. Video evidence. There's no facts for this on Game Facts, so I thought about writing one myself. But then I came to realize, well, it's just a linear platform. It's not like you need to tell, go this way, go this way, go this way. The game actually already does that with some colored arrows. Some tips and tricks would be helpful, like strategies for like this boss, you know. My strategy for the that... one person who has played it. Yeah, I mean the strategies I came up you. for this. Yeah, but the strategies I would come up with would be very helpful. Just for you know, yourself. Forcing that person to turtle. <laughs> and one thing I don't get, the major minor show. Do you remember the Nana Onsha game on the Wii? Nana Onsha, the developers behind uh, 
Parappa and Gum yeah. Jammer Lemmy, all that sort of stuff. Vib Ribbon. Major Minor's Majestic March. Yeah. That's yeah. just something to think about. And because I started on this last on this last password and got a low score, I guess I got the boxers. I don't know what that, what's up with that. Apparently that's your, your uh, hero pose. That's uh, that's tempo IRL. Grasshopper, or is he a person? I think he's a grasshopper because no person would actually name themselves person. The, the, one of the producers' names was Bill Person. <laughs> Itagaki, fame. Okay, well, I mean, this is tempo. Yeah, this is this is some fantastic credits right here. Yeah. So thanks for coming in on the last episode, where well, you yeah. don't get to see any of the cool. There were some cool stages. In it. Like I said, there's a lot of cool stuff that they did with the backgrounds and the graphics, and there were actually some cool stage designs. Well, you know, for the most part, with my presence here on, on the last video, should help uh, garner a few additional viewers. And it was very lucky. I couldn't have beat it without you. Exactly. So, high five. There we go. They probably could have done something to speed up the credits a little bit. Yeah. It would have been cool if they put other pictures, like maybe put a picture of uh, uh, Katie, some of the other... Characters. Or possibly, you know, some clips and stuff from the game itself. Yeah. Some actual action, you know, that'd be kind of cool. I mean, the 32X is supposedly, is supposedly powerful hardware. Mm -hmm. I mean, it gives the, the Genesis so much more RAM to be Twice able as to powerful to as the Genesis. More. I mean, you have to have a Genesis to do anything with it, because if you just have the 32X, well then... Why bother? Yeah. Like, it itself has no ports for controllers, and there's not a power button either, I don't think. Nope. There's a so, port for a power cable, so you do need to get one more power brick. Yeah. And for those very, very unlucky people who actually purchased a Sega CD as well, you can have a a wonderful monstrosity of a, of a, of a platforms. Mm-hmm. You know what I haven't done since I got that second 32X? I haven't plugged that second 32X into my primary 32X. I haven't started constructing the 32X tower. Which, does it even benefit you at all? No, but that's what we're going to do next. So, presented by Sega and Red 1995. Looks like that's it. That looks like it's it. The wonderful boxers. That's it. Sega, I... I'm, yeah, so I Go was ahead. about to sign everything off. But Go ahead, to sign us. Start yeah. signing us off. Pimp, Hi! Pimp your shit. I am Jeff, Aka Tridracius from JustOneMoreLevel.com and from YouTube.com slash JustOneMoreLevel, the, the number one. And also Twitch.tv slash J1ML. Yeah. Twitter, Facebook, I'm, home address, mailing address, P.O. Box. On Social Facebook, security number? On Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that fun stuff. I'm Tridracius on absolutely everything. Yik Yak? Not that one. You know um, what it is, though, right? I think I've heard of it. Oh, okay, so you don't know what it is. Not really, no. You think you've heard of it. Okay. But anyway, and this I'm was, all over. He's all over, and this was John from MyBrainOnGames.com. You can check me out there. You can also check me out on YouTube and Twitter as John Engelman. 
J-O-H-N-E-N-G-E-L-M-A-N. And this is the final episode of Tempo. All right, I'm glad that I was able to sit in on it. Awesome! I'm glad you were here, because I couldn't have beaten it otherwise. Yeah, I am just a good luck charm. Well, well, he will see, he'll play games again sometime. I'm not True sure how. words have never been stated. This will not be the last game I ever play. Yeah, not really sure how you do the whole sign-off stuff on these shows. So. That's pretty much it. All right. I just keep talking, and eventually the laptop battery dies or the power gets shut off at the house. Okay, well. I call it quits there. He will play games and see you all next time. Bye-bye.